What's up? Hello po sa inyong lahat. This is DMRPH and welcome to my diary. The diary of a motorcycle rider. Philippines. Nandito na naman po tayo for another segment of DMRPH Review and Unboxing. At bago po ang lahat, here is my intro. Quack! kakalimutang mag-subscribe and mag-notify para po updated kayo sa aking mga upcoming videos, upcoming reviews, and unboxings. So yeah, ready na po ba kayo sa ating unboxing for tonight? Well, um, nakikita nyo naman po sa aking gilid ng aking mga helmets. HGV, Showy, may HJC po doon, may HGV ulit, may Biltwell, and Meron pong LS2. All of those, ginagamit ko po yan for my vlogging, for racing, for everyday use no? as a motorcyclist. Dahil napaka-importante po sa akin ng safety. Napaka-importante po sa atin dapat na magsusuot po tayo ng helmet. Kahit saan man po tayo magpunta, kahit na bumili lang tayo ng tinapay dyan sa kanto o inutusan tayo ni nanay na bumili ng suka at saka ng bigas. Huwag niyo pong nakakalimutan sana yung magsuot ng helmet. So, uh, ito na po. Hindi ko na po patatagalin. I-unbox na po natin ang KYT helmet. Yes! Pukunin ko lang siya dito sa ilalim. Uh, yan! Diba? Mm -hmm. So, ano po ba itong KYT helmet? Started long ago. Uh, it's a company who's focusing on rider safety. So, madalas na po siya nakikita sa mga racing. So, may racing DNA po itong uh, KYT helmets. Para lang po ito sa mga cute. Hindi, joke lang. Tama ba? Yan. O, diba? Di pa tayo sa kabila para wala masyadong gasgas yung box. So, ang KYT helmets po ay may racing DNA. You can see them most likely on racing from MotoGP to World Superbike Championship, to IRC, or to IRGP. Almost any kind of races, nandun po si KYT to bring in the best possible safety helmet for riders. Pero, hindi lang po siya for racing. It can be used for every day. Almost any kind of motorcycle, almost any kind of rider, pwede nyo pong gamitin itong KYT helmets. Much like AGV, and showy, reputable na po itong company na ito, no? yung KYT helmets. So, for this episode, we are going to unbox the KYT NX Race. Ito po yung aking moto vlogging helmet. Baka pumapalo tayo. No? So, uh, unbox na po natin siya. Ayan. It says here, World Class helmet. Yeah. So, ito po yung uh, nasa loob. Meron po siyang dalawang karton and styro. Aray ko. Ang bango. Yan. Cute. <laughs> KYTHelmets.com You can visit them to know more about this awesome Mother Effin Helmet. So, yung karton. Another karton. Manuals. And I'm hoping there's a sticker inside. Oh yeah, there is. There's a sticker. Yeah, boy. Two pieces, no? Dalawang piraso. And over here, we have a styro. And wala na po naman. So, magpunta yun sa atin. World Class Helmets. No? Tama ba? Helmet lang pala. <laughs> I think, ito, pwede natin gawin patungan para hindi magasgas dahil uh, this awesome helmet is priced around 16,500 pesos in Alpine Stars, Philippines. Yes, yeah, so shout out po kay uh, Sir Hans and sa mga staff ng Alpine Stars, Philippines. 
for this lovely helmet dahil the next po nila ako na available na po. Matagal ko na pong iniintay ito para for my new moto vlogging helmet. And nakuha ko na po. Tsaraan! Hindi pa pala. Bubuksan pa lang natin. And grabe naman yung uh, pagkakasil na ito. No? So, inside this helmet bag is this one. <laughs> so, ayaw pa niyang ipakita sa inyo yung helmet. Pero, eto yun. Ooh! Ganda! Ang ganda, no? Sorry na. So, ayan po. <laughs> NX Race. From KYT. Yes! Napakaganda. No? So, again, wala pa po akong turntable. Kaya pagpasensyahan nyo na po at ito lang ang nakayanan ko. No? Ang aking kamay. So, we call this the Triple Carbon Edition of KYT and X-Rays. Bakit po siya triple carbon? It's carbon fiber all around. Then po yung kanyang uh, visor. Kita nyo naman, hindi ko pa nasusuot. Tigas. Yan po yung uh, loob, kaliwa, likod, kanan, and yung harap. Pogi talaga. <laughs> Let's start off the shell, bago po ang lahat. It's a uh, triple carbon nga po, the color, triple carbon. But, hindi lang po ito yung available. Meron po siyang uh, Espargaro edition. Yung si Aleish Espargaro, yung MotoGP rider po. And lots of other designs, meron pong uh, red, meron green, meron blue. Mas gusto ko po yung uh, plain and simple para pag nilagay ko po yung sticker ko dito, eh maangas na maangas po yung dating. So yeah, let's start off with the shell. Triaxial composite. Bakit po siya triaxial? Triaxial. It's uh, composed of carbon, Kevlar, and fiberglass. I'm 100% sure that this shell can withstand crashes. It was wind tested for aerodynamics at 200 kilometers per hour. Hindi naman po ako magte-testing ng ganun. So, we're fitting lang po tayo and gamit ko lang po yung NMAX ko everyday. But, but, bakit po po ito pinili? Because it's super effing light. Sobrang Parang, ang sarap po niyang iba to. Alam niyo po yun, pero nakakatakot. It has two shell sizes. A small and medium, isang shell size. And then the large XL and double XL siguro, paddings na lang yung nagkakaiba. No? So, it has two shell sizes. So, let's go now to the inner linings. It's hypoallergenic. It's removable and washable. It has parang yung mga foams niya perforated, if you can see there. And it has this uh, parang yung mga butas-butas, no? So, breathable po siya, no? Breathable material. Pwede nyo nga pong tanggalin para hugasan. So, pag pinagpapawisan po kayo, most especially during races or during... When you ride, of course, uh, syempre, init, no? So, kailangan nyo pong hugasan. Kailangan nyo pong uh, tanggalin. And the good thing about it is pwede nyo po siyang baklasin lahat including yung mga foam sa loob. So let's go now to the visor. Ito pong visor niya is DC injected anti-scratch class 1 optics. Yeah boy. In uh, other countries, pwede niyo pong palitan to na mas makapal, mas manipis. Depende po sa kung paano niyo po siya gagamitin. And it also has this breath deflector para hindi po nagpa-fog. Isasara ko lang po. Ayoko po muna siya ibagsak. Peace lang. Pin lock ready and tear offs ready. So, lalagay nyo po yung tear offs dito para po yung ginagawa ng mga MotoGP riders pag dumudumi na po or nagkakaroon ng stain yung visor nila. No? Tinatanggal lang po nila yung film. It can be used also when you're using eyeglass. So, meron, kung meron po kayong salamin, pwede nyo pong gamitin. Yan, nakita ko nga po yun sa loob. No? Ito po. Ito nga uh, parang red tab na yan or orange tab. Yeah. Uh, pwede nyo pong uh, suotan siya ng salamin. So, medyo maluwag po yung uh, ditong, part, ditong portion niya. No? So, let's go over to the vents. It has three front intakes. Isa, dalawa, tatlo. So, pwede nyo pong buksan yan for maximum breathability para po uh, pumasok na pumasok talaga sa 
loob ng ulo nyo, sa ibabaw ng ulo nyo yung hangin. It also has one over here at the chin, no? which you can fully open and fully close. And at the back, meron po siyang four ports. One, two, three, and four. Four. Meron po siyang apat na vents. So talagang uh, medyo malamig po. And it was tested at 200 kilometers per hour for wind testing or noise testing. And it passed all those tests. So, hindi na po natin mag-uusapan yung safety because this is being used nga po by racers all over the world, including the racers here in the Philippines. Meron po siyang double D-ring. Yes! Ito po yung highly recommended ko po pagdating sa mga helmets. Napaka-importante po na ang isang helmet ay hindi madaling matanggal sa ulo. At napaka-importante rin po na ang ating helmet ay lagi nating suot at saka po nakalock. No? Kaya nga po siya ginawa, kaya nga po siya tinawag na safety helmet. Not much is going on with this triple carbon helmet dahil kulay itim lang po siya with this KYT logo over here and KYT and X-rays at the back. I'm going to use it as my motovlogging helmet daily dahil nga po sumasakit na po yung uh, leeg ko dahil mabigat po yung AJV KTSV Pairtaroga over here. I tried this one, but medyo mabigat pa rin po compared to this. It's even lighter compared to my LS2 Rapid. This is the lightest that I have, but this is the lightest right now. Ito na lang po yung mga kulang ko. GRX Motonetics helmet mount, chin mount. Stakers in the MRPH. And also, I'll be putting this Cardo audio and microphone kit included in Ride Manila's promo of the Cardo Backtalk Bold by JBL over here. Yung camera ko na nakakabit pa sa Tartaruga, ilalagay ko na lang po dito. Then I'm all set for my everyday vlogging. So yun lamang po, it's, again, it's priced at 16500 available in Alpine Stars Philippines in Tomas Morator or Timog, i-search nyo na lang, i-google nyo na lang, i-waze nyo na lang, makikita nyo rin po sila. So it's 16,500 for this awesome triple carbon KYT helmet. Compared to AGV's carbon fiber helmets, compared to Showy's X14 or X Spirit 3 helmet, compared to my Biltwell and compared to LS2 helmets, Spider helmets, HJC helmets, I love this one because it's super light and it was tested for high speed crashes. Mahal man po ito, napaka importante po ng buhay para sa akin dahil ang buhay po ng tao is hindi po dalawang libo, isang libo, limandaan. Yan po yung isa sa mga major factors of deaths here in the Philippines. Yung hindi po pagsusot ng helmet. So, for me, Napaka-importante po ng helmet mo ay maayos. We spend a lot of money for things we don't need. Naglalagay po tayo ng mga gold rim sets sa ating mga motor. Naglalagay po tayo ng handlebars, muffler, pampaingay, pampaganda. And all of those mean nothing kapag tayo po ay naaksidente. Hindi ko naman po sinabi mag-invest kayo sa ganito kamahal na helmet. But it's just me and you all have your right to do whatever you want with your own money. Pero let me tell you, Napaka-importante po ng helmet sa isang tao. And also, this triple carbon helmet by KYT is among the cheapest carbon fiber helmets out there compared to x Lite, compared to Nitec, compared to AGV, Showy. No? And Showy po, nasa 30s ang presyo. This one, 16,500. You need it na carbon fiber helmet. Medyo mabigat pa rin po. Priced at around 13,000 pesos. Yung X-Lite na Nolan X803 is around 23,000 pesos to 28. And yung AGV, huwag nyo na pong tanongin dahil nasa 65, 75, 85,000 po yung mga carbon fiber na helmets nila. So this is among the cheapest out there na, na, talagang sigurado ka na maayos po yung uh, patutunguhan ng buhay mo kapag naaksidente ka tumama yung ulo mo. That's it for today and thank you for watching my diary, the diary of a motorcycle rider Philippines. Always ride safe, always wear your helmets and wag po kayong masyadong mabilis magpatakbo. There's a racetrack 
na pwede nyo pong gamitin para matest nyo yung limits nyo pero hindi po dapat sa public roads. So, yun lamang po. Maraming salamat po sa inyo. Don't forget to subscribe and notify yourselves for future videos. Bye!